when I was in fifth grade, I fell in love with science. My fifth grade teacher made me do a science project and my dad helped me build a plankton net out of some pantyhose. And I would go across the bay every day and scoop up a cup full of water of plankton. And this was before SpongeBob, so everybody didn't know what plankton was back then. And uh, I had a little microscope from TGNY, and me and my dad would put the plankton underneath that microscope, and I could not believe that I saw all these little creatures that were alive when I looked at it under the microscope. So from that point on, I was fascinated with science. So I knew I wanted to have a career in science. So I actually went to college to become a nurse. But while I was in college, I worked at a daycare to make some money to pay for food and housing and things like that. I fell in love knowing that I could influence children because every day those little four and five year olds uh, loved coming to preschool with me and I saw that and their parents told me uh, things that they had overcome because I had worked with them and at that point I realized that wow being a teacher gives you the ability to change somebody else's life for the better. Science is naturally uh, connected to the world around us. We're learning about what makes day and what makes night. We're learning about um, when, when we're doing environmental science, we're learning about uh, cleaning up an oil spill so you actually have a scenario at your tables where you have an oil spill and you guys have to clean it up. So all the things that we learn in class are relevant to our everyday lives. What do you want your students to remember most about when they leave your classroom? Hmm. What I want you guys to remember the most is that I love you and that um, you guys, y'all don't know that when I come to school, I love being here. Y'all do know that. I think y'all do know that. Um, this is my break. This is not. This is not a job for me. This is my break from having to change diapers and clean up the house and do laundry. This is. This is not. This is my favorite place to be. And I want you guys to remember that learning is fun and that um, you have a purpose in life and I hope you find your purpose so that you will be as happy as I am right now when you get older. <laughs> Being teacher of the year, it means that, um, it means that I have fulfilled my purpose in life because I feel like um, one of the most important things that I'm supposed to do while I'm here is to influence children in a positive, loving way and uh, to me, it would be a piece of evidence that I've done what I want to do. When you chose to become a teacher, you are taking on a big responsibility that you can influence children for the rest of their lives. For the rest of their lives, kids are gonna remember you good or bad. And so not only set the expectations high for your students, but to set them even higher for you, the teacher. Woo!